you have prepared a questionnaire and administered it through online survey websites like survey monkey survey police my survey or using google forms yahoo forms etc you will get survey responses in excel worksheets on the other hand when you source data from databases like stock markets government agencies you get data in dot csv that is comma separated or delimited file format or dot txt that is text format furthermore analytical reports like google analytics facebook analytics youtube analytics or in excel or dot csv formats if you wish to analyze all this data with spss you can import them into spss file before importing data from external databases into spss make sure that the format in source data matches spss file format for example be sure that the first row in excel worksheet contains names as column headings names of the column should be in accordance to spss naming conventions like no space between variable names names should not start with a number usage of special characters etc next see that your data starts from second row there should not be any blank columns or rows blanks else are acceptable after formatting the source data open spss statistics click on file and move cursor on to open you will see a pop up list in that list click on data open data dialog box is displayed in file type select appropriate file type that is excel essays dbase text etc next click the list arrow that is down arrow appearing on the right side of look in and browse to find out source data file once you are done select it and click open button open excel data source dialog box appears on screen select read variables names from the first row of the data confirm the worksheet data range and click okay data is imported to spss statistics click the variable view and edit variable properties next to open a text source data click on a file then place cursor on open from list select data text import wizard step 1 to 6 dialog box is displayed as you are creating a new file in does your text file match a pre determined format click on no radio button then observe data in text box click next wizard step 2 of 6 dialog box appears now select how are your variables arranged delimited or fixed width many of the external data sources are delimited by comma tab colon etc based on your input file choose delimited then tell to spss whether your external file has a variable names at the top of the file select s if variable names are there and no if variable names are not there then click next delimited step 3 of 6 dialog box is displayed select your case represented and number of cases click next in wizard 4 of 6 select comma delimiter click next specifications for variables appear on screen check for accuracy and click next click finish data are imported to spss data editor check the variable view and edit the properties